you're using your eyes, you're gauging the quality of the print, and then you're also feeling it. Does it feel right? U.S. Border Patrol agent Mark Phillips is explaining how to spot a fake passport. That's laminated over the top. So you can, it feels different. Phillips has been looking at identification documents like these for the past 13 years. He's pretty good at spotting subtle differences between the fake ones and the real thing. Because the security features that are printed and that are designed to go into the, the U.S. government issued documents, it's very difficult to reproduce that um, fraudulently. Despite that, there's still a big market for fake passports and other forms of identification. No matter what security features we, we put into it, somebody's always going to try and counterfeit it. I've seen uh, documents um, cost cost uh, people in excess of $60,000 to, to, to come into the country. Deputy um, Chief Jason Snyder of, uh, is a 24-year veteran of the Border Patrol. Agents like him and Phillips see two types of documents, a permanent resident card or a passport with a visa and entry document. There are three ways they can be falsified. They can be documents that are completely manufactured, they can be real but have been altered in some way, or they can be real and being used by an imposter. That requires the, the training and the experience of the officer to actually pick out and to identify the person bearing the document as not being the proper person. Legitimate documents like my passport are made with really good high quality paper. Agents Phillips and Snyder showed me two ways to easily detect a fake document from a real one like this. And the first part you want to look at is the photo. The photo should be flat on the paper surface and not raised. Also, real passports have a reflective 3D strip, which cannot be seen by looking straight at the document. It can only be seen at an angle like this, and that part is hard to replicate. Fraudulent documents hold value. Uh, depending on the quality of the document, it can hold a lot of value. But getting caught comes at a steep price. It's a felony to lie to a patrol agent and use fake identification documents to remain in the U.S. The punishment for such felonies ranges from one to 20 years in prison. In Holton, Samantha Sugarman, New Center, Maine. And Phillips went on to say that getting good at spotting these fakes takes time. As you can imagine, the more you handle these documents and know what they should look like and feel like, the easier it is to spot the fakes.